Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special opinion piece on deposit insurance. Now, back in March, we said that New Zealand needed a deposit insurance scheme because we could see turmoil developing on global credit markets and because we think it's a good idea that there is deposit insurance there for bank deposits. New Zealand is the only country now in the OECD that doesn't have bank deposit insurance. Today, we're calling on National and Labor to work with the Reserve Bank on a bipartisan deposit insurance scheme. We would like to see a government guarantee that would later turn into an insurance scheme for at least $25,000 per account and more like $100,000 per account. Now, why are we saying this now? Firstly, and this is something we should be very clear about, we agree with the Reserve Bank that our banks are sound. They are well capitalised, well regulated, they're simple, and they simply aren't materially exposed to the US subprime crisis. But they are connected to the global system, and they do have to roll over. This is the Australasian banks. Obviously, our banks are owned by the big Australian banks. They do have to roll over about $100 billion in short-term foreign debt every 90 days. About 30% of New Zealand bank lending is funded on these short-term foreign money markets. If the markets stay frozen for several months, rather than just a few days or a week or two, there is a danger that our banks will have to tighten their lending sharply because that money isn't so easily or cheaply available on those international markets. This will cause nervousness in New Zealand. We've got 170,000 accounts right now, frozen in finance companies. People are a little bit nervous about the safety of their financial institutions. We should provide some protection against a run on a good bank. Now, there's some other things that have changed in the last couple of weeks, which mean we think now is the time for the political and economic leadership in New Zealand to act. Firstly, the crises in the European and US banking systems are much worse. Just in the last week, we've seen Ireland, Greece, and now Germany announce that, they, that the government would guarantee all bank deposits, particularly for individual and personal accounts. The UK and the US have both increased the size of their deposit insurance schemes. In the US, it's gone from $100,000 per account to $250,000 per account. In the UK, it's gone from £35,000 to £50,000. And Australia, and this is the key one, Australia is planning a deposit protection scheme for up to $25,000 per account. This should be the minimum here, and it should be more like $100,000. We need to make sure that we're moving in step, at least, with Australia, to make sure people don't, in the event of a crisis, decide to move their money into the bank account of their bank, but in Australia. Simply, we need to act now, before the crisis worsens. Our banks are sound, but there's nothing wrong with a little insurance. I'm Bernard Hickey, with a special opinion piece for interest.co.nz.